not just Sierra Leone, go to Democratic Republic of Congo, go to the Botswana, go to Angola, go everywhere there is mineral resources. It is the West and the Chinese who are there. We have the best diamonds in the world, but they call our diamond blood diamond. Well, I've never seen a red diamond, because if it's blood diamond, it should be red. We have the best diamonds in, in the world. You know, so... Don't be afraid of the tide. Be careful with stars. Not every light is trying to guide you, baby. Don't let them rain on your spine. You cannot have seven countries vetoing everything. When it comes to Africa issue, it is those seven countries. Who are the countries that are actually exploiting Africa? They're the ones who have the veto power to make decision on anything that has to do with Africa. So for me, I think that is wrong. And that is one thing the president of Sierra Leone has campaigned for. And this year, Sierra Leone is now a non-permanent member at the United Nations. But yet still, we don't have a veto power. But we're there. At least we are, com we are getting closer. And in these two years, our mission is to get the United Nations to see Africa not as one country. Because that's the mistake they do. When you say I'm from Africa, they say, oh, you're from Nigeria. I said, no, Nigeria is one country in Africa. <laughs> you know, we have 54 countries in Africa. So see us as a continent that also we, we, what we offer to the world, Europe does not have it. What Africa gives to the world, Europe don't have it, America don't have it, Asia don't have it. Because we are not mining in China, we are not doing any mining in America or mining in Europe. But they are doing it in every part of Africa. Not just Sierra Leone, go to Democratic Republic of Congo, go to the Botswana, go to Angola, go everywhere there is mineral resources. It is the West and the Chinese who are there. We have the best diamonds in the world, but they call our diamond blood diamond. Well, I've never seen a red diamond. Because if it's blood diamond, it should be red. We have the best diamonds in, in the world. You know, so let me speak for Africa. When you come to Africa, ask me what is it that I want. If you ask me what food do you want to eat, I'll tell you I want to eat rice. But then if you come to Africa and bring me spaghetti and said I want you to eat spaghetti, that you're imposing on me. With everything that we have in Africa, for all the people or all the organizations or all the companies that are coming to take from us, for once, see us as partners. For once, treat us with respect. And then, help us develop. Because when we are developed, does it mean you will not do your mining? It just means you will be changing lives and changing lives in a positive way. So by depriving us that development, by depriving us that opportunity for us to be able to be self-sufficient, for me that is what is wrong. And that is why I am not able to stay silent. I feel Africa, we, patriotism is very important. You have to love your country to want your country to be a better place. Patriotism, I think we need to be, we have to have that sense of patriotism in our countries. And um, our leaders also should be subjected to that. You know, it is not only when uh, you were talking about election and then everybody come out and celebrate and after election, that's it. Accountability. Who accounts for what is happening? Who is the one who is changing the narrative of what is happening? Like I said, as a first lady, I am not part of a government system. I am a wife of a president. So when I speak, I speak on behalf of the people because I understand what the people are going through. At the end of the day, I'm not being paid salary, so and I cannot be fired either. <laughs> so that's the, the, the advantage. That's the advantage of being a first lady. But I believe that for Africa, what is happening in Africa today, it need to change, and it need to change now. There is no time like now because for Sierra Leone, we now have a president who believes that we cannot wait for other people to come and develop us. 
we cannot wait for another country to come and prescribe how our country should be run or what we need in our country. You know, this divide and rule, if you're close to China, we will not come to your country. If you're close to America, we will not come to your country. I mean, the fight that is between England, Europe, America, China, Russia is not a Sierra Leone fight. That's not our problem. We're fighting for our daily bread. We're looking to have education, just like America. We're looking to have good health facility, just like Europe. We're looking to have governance structure where a, one single person cannot be the dictator of a nation. That's what we're looking for. And in that process, we are going to be allies to everybody who wants us to grow. But if we now align ourselves with someone, and then this other person now is feel offended that, oh, you know, I'm, I'm coming from China now. I flew in, I mean, I've gone around the world to get to Boston, you know. I went to China and then come here. I, before here, I went to England and then flew into America. For me, I am not restricted where I should go or who I should be talking to. I am going around the world to see a country that sees Africa not as uh, uh, an, not just as an ally of what you will be getting from us, but a country that sees Sierra Leone as partners and treat us with respect. You cannot be coming to our country and take everything that will make us develop and then you still treat us as inferior people as if we don't know what we're doing. I think that is wrong, you know. We're looking for partners that value us. People that will come to our country and say, you know what, this country has suffered enough. They need to grow. We were once the atom of Africa. Every country within sub-Sahara Africa used to come to Sierra Leone for our education. And today, what can we be proud of? We cannot talk about education in Sierra Leone because they've ruined that for us. Everything that has empowered Sierra Leone has been ruined. And now we have a leader who wants to fix everything. There is a problem. In Africa, you should not have a leader that is assertive, a leader that knows what his people want, a leader that wants to change the, what is happening. The moment you have that, it's everyone's target. And then they find reason to slow you down, they find reason to stop you, and they use that system of corruption. They use corrupt people, they use negative people, they use unpatriotic citizens to come after a government who is doing what is right for a system. I think we need to address those issues. Unfortunately, I don't know who I, who, I mean, um, I'm very good at name calling, but at the moment I don't know who I should be screaming at.